During the dog days of summer, staying cool can be challenging, even with access to modern conveniences like air conditioning. Although there's nothing better than a frosty blast of the AC when temperatures soar, air conditioning and other space cooling methods require energy. They account for about 10% of all electricity consumption in the U.S., according to the U.S. Energy Information Administration. Now researchers have developed a fabric that can keep you cool without ever having to turn on the AC. They report their results in ACS applied materials and interfaces. Cooling off a person's body is much more efficient than cooling an entire room or building. Various clothing and fabrics have been designed to do just that, but most have drawbacks. For example, they can be expensive and complicated to make, and some trap sweat or moisture rather than letting the skin breathe. Others just don't work very well. Yang Si, Bin Ding, and colleagues wanted to develop a personal cooling fabric that could efficiently transfer heat away from the body, while also being breathable, water repellent, and easy to make. The researchers made the new material by electrospinning, a process that creates nanofibers by applying high voltages to a polymer solution as it's pumped from a syringe. In this case, the solution contained polyurethane, fluorinated polyurethane, and boron nitride nanosheets. The polymers, shown in green here, formed a fibrous network that was coated with heat-conducting boron nitride, shown in gray. The pores in the electrospun material were large enough to allow sweat to evaporate from the skin and air to circulate. The polymer also contained a fluorinated polyethylene that made the fabric water repellent. A water droplet bounced several times on the material before resting on the surface, showing the fabric's ability to keep water out and possibly even clean itself. The researchers fastened the fabric between two chambers, one filled with air and the other with water. Then, they bubbled air from the lower chamber, showing that the material was both waterproof and breathable. In another experiment, the team placed the fabric on a heater to simulate human body heat. They measured the temperature on the outside of the fabric to see how well the material conducted heat to the outside. These infrared thermal images show that, compared with the material on the left that didn't contain boron nitride, the material on the right transferred heat to the outside air more efficiently. After 40 seconds, the surface temperature of the material that contained boron nitride was about 2.2 degrees Fahrenheit, or 1.2 degrees Celsius, higher than the same material without the thermal conductor. In tests, the thermal conductivity was higher than that of many other conventional or high-tech fabrics. Someday, the new material might help beat summer heat while reducing energy use at the same time.